And we now know the names of some of the victims who died in the crash yesterday. And a vigil is being held to remember the victims tonight in Apopka. TV 20's Kayla Lewis joins us live from that site of the vigil in Apopka. Kayla, who's hosting this memorial? The Florida Farm Workers Association organized the event. The organization is also helping raise money to help the victims and their families. An FHP report identifies six of the eight victims as 30-year-old Evardo Hernandez, 24-year-old Kristen Valeda, 20-year-old Alfredo Sanchez, 21-year-old Isaias Pascal, 27-year-old Jose Acosta, and 46-year-old Manuel Rios. Advent Health Hospital officials say all victims at their hospital were transferred or released. HCA Florida Ocala Hospital officials say they still have 10 patients. Seven of those remain in critical condition. We hope that all farm workers have access to safe transportation, but we know that's not a reality. Um, I don't know about this specific case, but I know often buses are very run down. Um, they often don't have seat belts. They don't have air conditioning because heat stress is another major concern when it comes to farm worker safety. O'Connor says it's common for migrant workers to be released from hospitals too soon because they don't have insurance. Many of the victims who were treated and released are staying at a Gainesville motel. TV20 found some people with bandages sitting on balconies this afternoon. And I'll be here talking to people who show up to the vigil to pay their respects to the victims and their families. I'll have another live report at 6. Reporting live in Apopka, Kayla Lewis, TV20 News.